Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Build series in Minecraft. Now this is finally the part 2 of this luxury mansion. As you can see we have done this a month ago and now it's time to get the interior done as well. So let me quickly show you around what we are going to do in this episode. Now we are right now at the entrance. We got a staircase going up and two bedrooms on each side. Here we have our very modern kitchen. And on this side we got our lovely first bedroom. Now we got the exact the same bedroom on that side as well. So let's go upstairs and let me show you a little bit around. Once we enter the second floor on the left hand side we got the second bedroom. And again, this one is exactly the same as that one. So I will show you only one side. And on this side we got the living room. And I think this looks lovely. Then here we got the storage area and a lovely fireplace. And like I said, here we have the same bedroom. Now the requirements for this episode is actually everything you see right here. And I will have a list in the description as well so keep that in mind and once you got everything you need let's get started the first thing what you want to do is you want to change the floor and i'm going to use the strip dark oak wood but again you can use whatever you like to then we are going to add some pillars and i will outline everything uh, well, and it is pretty obvious you just want to repeat the same pillar as we have on the back side and one mention you want to make sure that you light up everything because otherwise mobs can spawn so make sure you got all of that after that we are going to divide this in multiple rooms and we are going to add two more floors on top before we indicate the rooms, what we're going to do is we're going to add the second floor. So it's going to be much easier for us to make things on the first floor. Now you want to go up, let's say until this point. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you want to go up eight blocks and then you can just fill this in. And after that, we are left with one more room on top right here. But first, let's get this in. Next up, we are going to make a staircase. So what you want to do is you want to count in 10 blocks from this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you can add your stairs going upwards. Once you are done with the staircase, what you want to do is you want to add a row of blocks on the sides. We are going to do the same thing on that side as well in a moment. But first, this should perfectly line up with each other now. So let's build this side up. And we are going to indicate a wall right here. So let's fill this in and leave some space for a door. And then you can just build this up for now like this okay do the same thing over on that side now let's decorate these entrances first before we continue and it's going to look pretty simple to be honest uh, let's replace this with some stairs let's add some stairs underneath actually the, almost the same thing as we did on the outside we go it's easy as that now, if you want to you can add some iron bars on the edges and then some glass as well just the same glass we've used for the exterior of this build next up we're going to add two more walls on the sides which uh, they are not going to have any purpose but for the looks okay so you want to go in four blocks in total one two three four then add another deep slate brick and just build this up you want to do the same thing over on this side 
Now to decorate this, what you want to do is simply adding stairs underneath and up here like so. Then add some iron bars going across. And we got then a lovely entrance. Next up, we got four rooms now. Now we need to divide this in two. So let's do that from this point. Going all the way right there. Let's do the same thing over here as well. Then you can just build these both up. And then we are going to go back right here and make a small pathway, which is four blocks wide. Go in. Then let's see. Let's go this way. And let's do the same thing over on this side. So this is going to work as a hallway. And then this is going to be the actual room. Now what you want to do is you want to repeat the same design as this for this side and for this side as well. Next up, we're going to build a big kitchen area. To do that, what you want to do is you want to work with some gray concrete or some black concrete. So let's add a row on this side first. Like this. Then do the same thing over on this side. Going all the way until this point. Okay. Then underneath here, you want to add some concrete again. Here we go. Then you can add some carpets on top of these. Followed with some iron trapdoors on top of here for now. Okay. After that, what you want to do is you want to add two more rows like this. Then you want to take a furnace and place it in right there maybe then add some walls going up like this don't forget to add some buttons to give this a little bit more decoration to be honest then let's make a simple table right here with use of some carpet as easy as that this side we are going to use for our bookshelves so let me show you the basic shape for the decoration. You want to work with some deep slay here. Just build up where you see the same pillars. Here we go. Then you can take your bookshelves and add that in all the way up. What I have done is I have added a small place to sit and relax to read some books now let's move on to the rooms now the rooms are going to be exactly the same so let me show you one room now we need to fix this first so let's start by adding deep slay on this edge and right here as well then we definitely need to light up this area otherwise mobs are going to spawn here Then we are left with something like this. So we're going to have our bed on this side. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a bed. Now we need to have three in this case because otherwise it's not going to be symmetrical. And I'm going to be very annoyed about that. <laughs> so let's add three beds like this. Add a full block in the middle. Then you can add some stairs again build this side up do the same thing over on this side add some stairs upside down like that then you can add your iron bars followed with some stairs like this okay this way we are going to decorate it well we still have some place to decorate so what you want to do is you want to add stairs like this and then add some 
on the edge like so and we are going to make a closet from this and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to use some shulker boxes with some armor stands so you just want to place some shulker boxes like this then you can add armor stands on top with some shulker boxes again like this so let's do the same thing over on this side and here we're going to have some chests now let's have a little bit more fun with this wall right here otherwise it's going to look very empty so what you want to do is you just want to add some battles like this uh, make sure that they are all facing the same way then you can take some carpets and place that on top like this just to decorate this a little bit then you want to take some item bars then you can actually add two lanterns on top of these okay so it is pretty cozy and i think it looks very nice now for this wall what you want to do is you just want to divide this again like this and then you can take some bookshelves place that in like so then take some carpets and place that on top it's easy as that and actually let's turn this down like that so what i will do is i will make this on the other room next door after that we are going to decorate the second floor as well now what you want to do to fix these hallways is you want to replace these blocks with some concrete uh, quartz i'm sorry then you can get rid of this and fill some deep slay in going up and here we go then you can take some stairs again add it like this and you can add some item bars going up all the way like that so let's do that on this side show it to you how easy it actually is to make this and it looks lovely here we go now let's move up to the second floor and let's actually make a living room now for the second floor what we are going to do is we are going to divide this again in some more rooms not as much as we have on the first floor so let's start with the living room we want to have a big living room so let's actually use this side you just want to go until this point then you can just go back in here we go then add a row of dip sleigh box going up now we need to indicate the roof for the second floor which is going to be right uh, here let's see yes right about here so you want to go in and fill this all so that it's easier for us to build the second floor now we got one room indicated this is going to be a big bedroom here we're going to have the living room so what i want to do for now is i want to fill this all in but that's for later this is going to be living room and let's have maybe this area for storage and that is going to be it so let's uh, decorate the entrances now you just can randomly place a entrance and we are going to decorate this a little bit more than we did on the first floor just because this is much bigger um, now do i want this to cross this like that yeah why not it just works fine let's add some more stairs going across now what i want to do is i want to divide this even more like that and then add some stairs like this we can follow this with some iron bars and i think that's a very nice design for a bedroom now, if you want to you can make the same thing over on this side and then leave this area out for some storage and for a nice fireplace we are going to get 
now let's work on the bedrooms now this is going to be a big bedroom like i mentioned before you want to add some stairs now i'm not going to show you every step again but you just want to add a bed again like we did on the first floor and then once you got that it should look like this now you can take some iron bars and we're going to play around with some iron bars as well add two stairs on the edges followed with a lantern then divide this like so on top you can just add some iron bars and here we go this is going to be the basic shape for the bedroom then you can add some barrels on these sides like this okay now next up what you want to do is actually quite simple you want to add some upside down stairs and we're going to make a working area right here all the way around why not let's decorate it that way then up here you just want to add two and we are going to add some iron trapdoors underneath and then some carpets on top of this as we did on the first floor and don't forget to add a anvil as well and here we go that's the basic decoration for our bedroom now let's move on to the living room which is going to be on this side now for the living room what you want to do is you want to add some black concrete and we're going to make a tv first so let's divide this it's going to be pretty big doesn't matter actually okay then you can just surround this with some stairs like this on top you just want to do the same thing then add some iron bars like that then for the sides you can just add some quartz just to fill this all in now underneath you want to add some quartz again with some stairs then you can take some buttons and place it right against oops this and here we go that's our tv now let's add some bookshelves and let's add some more decoration on this side now what i actually want to do here for is you want to add some upside down stairs then take some barrels add it like this and it's going to look pretty nice i hope once it's done then you can add some stairs on top like that and what you want to do is you want to take some chains and place that going up as this and then you just want to place some entrance on top going all the way across then you just want to add your bookshelves uh, in this manner like a v-shape and let's add some iron bars chains sorry like that and i actually forgot to add two more buttons on the sides like this now we need a area to sit so what i will do is i will make a nice little area to sit down and on this side i will add a lot of chests to make this a nice storage area next up we are going to add some more storage areas right here let's do the same thing over on this side then you can just add individual chests for valuable items okay then once you have that what you want to do is you want to take some end rods and again you can use whatever light source you want to i think the end rods look very nice then you want to add some trapdoors and open them up from the sides and here we go we got our storage asylum as well now let's move on to making a fireplace now to start off what you want to do is you want to add some quartz bricks 
and go up from this point then you want to add upside down stairs like this item bars add some soul sand on the back ignite this add some more stairs like so then on both sides you want to add stairs let's fill this up then you want to take some slabs and then place that in like this okay on this side you want to add upside down stairs on the edges like that filled with some item bars here you can just fill this like that and actually leave that as it is then you can just add trapdoors on top just to give this a little bit more color and here we go but anyway that is going to be it for this episode now hopefully you all enjoyed this one and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe have a nice day i see you the next time